Hey, so I want to show you what Codium AI can do to speed up a writing tests on legacy code. This is an example of a legacy class. It's in TypeScript. You can see the logic is really not pretty. A lot of things are going on here. Uh, so I would like to modify this, but to do so, it will be easier first to refactor the code. But to refactor the code without breaking things, I would really like to have some tests, and that can take a lot of time. So instead, I'm going to click on that link here, generate test for the below class. And this is added uh, by Codium AI uh, on any class or top level function. Uh, and I could click that link and it will get the AI to think about the code, give me an explanation of what the code is doing and uh, suggest a couple of tests that it could it could run. We can see there are different um, things that could be then configured, like the auto mock, for instance, if there was any uh, database connection or third party query, uh, it could mock that. Uh, I can adapt the number of tests, I can provide some existing examples all of that could be refined. But what's interesting here uh, are the different tests that are generated. So you can see different scenarios here. Um, I can decide that, for instance, uh, I, I, I don't want this test or I don't want this one. Um, I can go back here and say, no, finally, you know what? Well, let's include this one. Okay, I'm going to start with these five tests. And when I'm happy about this, I can I could just save it to the file. So I'm going to put this test right into a new file. It's going to use just by default. Here you can see the code analysis. So this is in plain English, uh, the understanding of what the code is doing. And um, yeah, it could really help speed up the comprehension of what is the code doing, which is the whole thing. Uh, here, the imports are not working by default yet, uh, but hopefully it's TypeScript, so it's very easy to automatically import them. And we can see how different different scenarios uh, with a little explanation here about what it tried to do. And let's let's just see how the tests are behaving. Yeah, so out of the five tests it's gen it generated. One failed, uh, which happens, I mean, with any other solutions I've tried, the, uh, most of the tests were failing. I'm actually impressed that four tests are passing because not only it, it was able to find the different variations, but it was actually accurate about them. So the test that failed is about an unknown items. The, yeah, here the quality should have reduced to 29. That's the current behavior. So I'm gonna just capture this make sure that, uh, yes, everything is passing. And it only took me, you see, a few a few seconds to do that. So now I can I could run that again with the coverage just to make sure that I capture everything. And uh, let's see how much of the existing code was covered with test. And it's, it's not that bad. You can see there are some places left uh, I've also excluded the test, so maybe it's because of that. Uh, but now I, I could lean on the existing tests and add more variations to go there, there, and there. Uh, I could also challenge that if this is actually really covered by introducing small mistakes and see if there is one test failing. But see, it only took me a click on the link, wait a little bit, uh, refine the things, and then save, th save the file. And... I'm almost ready to get started to refactor the code. And I know that the code is covered with tests. So that's, that's the power of Codium AI.